Good morning. Welcome to this new video. And welcome to the French Alps. Seems like in the past weeks I've only been traveling. But of course I'm not complaining about that. And the last few days we've been in the Hotel Saint Roch. I think that's what you call it. In Puy Saint Vincent in the French Alps. To ride a really special gravel event. The first international edition of where the streets have no name. It's technically a one day gravel event with a little bit of competition but most of the people that are here are coming for multiple days. So Leon and I arrived here on Wednesday and now it's Saturday, the day of the actual event. Today's route I think will be about 65 kilometers, 2000 meters of elevation with a lunch stop in the middle. And the group this year is really small. I think we're 11 or 12 people. And next year the idea is to have I don't know, 150 or 200 people traveling here to the Alps to do this event. And I guess we're the lucky few that get to test it out first. Leon and I have been here for three days now and the area is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. The mountains are really different from the ones in the, in the Dolomites. It's way, way bigger here. The hotel here is absolutely amazing. The food is brilliant each night. And talking about food, it's time for breakfast. Breakfast done, the event starts in five minutes. So just in time to check my bike in the special bike room they have here. Gotta love these bike hotels. You ready? Got my drone in the shoulder bag. Uh, filming with a GoPro today during the ride. This is still the good camera. Ah, there's everyone else. So I think we're about to start, but first they gave me a coupon for a coffee, so I'm gonna go for that for sure. Questions always what's the tire pressure that you should be running? Everyone is exchanging ideas about this. No. We already did some gravel yesterday. How was it? We did. Uh, long and steep. We went to the fort. Fort Internet? Fort Internet, which is on uh, 2400 meters high. Yeah. So that's, that was cool. Two and a half hours of climbing. Rocky? Or? Really rocky, okay. yeah. So, uh, well, for the climb it's okay. For me and for the downhill it's yeah. just. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How big are your tires? That's what the people always want to know. How big the tires? 12, 45. I had 40 for one year and now I went to 45. Big difference? Yeah, a bit. And tubeless. So ah, yeah, yeah, I, that I is a big difference. Yeah, yeah, so I had clinches 40 and now I have uh, tubeless 45. Yeah. Which is really big difference. Yeah. And comfort. For sure. It's great. Yeah, yeah. So we will see how it goes today. Exactly. I'm of course riding 50 millimeter tires, also tubeless, but with a tire insert foam yeah. insert in the tire so if you have really low pressure but you hit a rock you shouldn't hit the rim because you hit the foam and if you flat you should be able to continue riding a little bit it's actually a mountain bike insert but it fits in the 50 millimeters so I'm curious to see how it feels if I flat <laughs> which I'm not planning to do <laughs> Right, we're ready to go. Gonna drop this camera and start riding. Okay, that was a fun start. I think 20%-ish. Uphill, the piece there. Yeah.
first 500 meters of climbing done and where do we end up at the same spot where we took the gondola up yesterday it's kind of disappointing we could have just taken the gondola but we've already seen some pretty pretty good roads <laughs> he said the same thing we should have taken the gondola all right I'm gonna catch up That was a pretty epic descent. Love it. Can't see anything. Just have to go. Okay, All right. 11 kilometers climbing. How long do we want to do it? Half an hour? 700 altimeters. Yeah, 7% average on gravel. I think we do 15 k's now, so 40 minutes. And see you in the video. 40 minutes. In 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna take so long. How many minutes are we doing? I know, man. I would say 15, 10. Yeah, makes sense. 30 minutes to go by. <laughs> I think we started too fast. <laughs> Got too excited. I think William and Jorrit took the wrong uh, route. They went up here. I was shouting, they weren't listening. So we have to go up the single track. And I think we go, hope that they catch up. Okay, I don't know who made this route, but this doesn't look like a gravel descent to me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Found someone! Oh man! Oh. Nice cooling down in this ooh, and there pretty goes. muddy lake. <laughs> oh, there goes my shoe! And we never saw him <laughs> <laughs> And we never saw him again! Ah, <laughs> oh, this is good. Oi, oi! Yeah. Got back up with uh, Erwin, Gijs and Viola. Gijs says there's a segment coming up. But looking at how steep this already looks, I don't know if I'm all that excited for it. Nope, too steep. Heart rate 175 when I'm walking up. I never go on a hike without my bike. This is crazy. What a crazy route. Finish. Bonjour. Oh my god. This was hard. Because it's so high. Just can't breathe.
crazy nice. That was so good. Very well deserved lunch. Though. 45 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, welcome guys, yeah. welcome guys. Where were we? Now I remember we did yoga. What's that? What's, what's with my hair? My helmet back on. Feeling refreshed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and full with, with food. Food. We need a descent to process the food a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> if, it, if it's a chill uh, descent, yeah, I will. But I think it's again uh, rocky. I've only seen rocky descents here, so big chance. This uh, event is so tough, it turned into a little bit of a drop ride. We've got five people left. Just for the record, I'm still here. Erwin is still here. Still here. <laughs> We're getting ready for the final steep as fuck single track. Simon promised we wouldn't be able to ride it. <laughs> Let's see who will survive. Is it beer o'clock? That's where we're going. I think that's the church. Yeah. That's the finish. Two point four kilometers of this. Final segment. I give up. Too steep. I'm too dead. I don't have enough gears. I made it. Come on, girl. Almost home. Impossible. You made it. Yes. Uh, I stepped up once. I stepped up twice. <laughs> Still happy that I rode some of it. Yo, man. Still alive? Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Semi alive. Oh, fucking hell. It's time for beer, man. Okay, man. Yeah! 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 Nice. Lekker gewerkt, Pete. Cheers. Cheers. You. Guys. It's time for burgers. Oh look, turns out there's also a prize ceremony. First of all, thank you for being here. You win a prize. You get a free ticket next year. It was great to ride together. And I was really surprised that all of you were so relaxed and waiting all the time for the slower people. So thank you for that. And hopefully we can make a big event next year. Now the serious part. Yeah, 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 eentje, nog eentje. Yeah, 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 come on. Even showen. Woo! Ja! En een bedje met Oh ja! Nummer 1 was Martijn. Yes! Woo! 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 Yeah man! This guy! Pro Bip Shorts maat L. Ik heb geen andere maat, ik kan niet houden. Nou, helemaal goed. Mijn vader is heel blij met een dure Bip Shorts. Goed zo. 
you! Not <laughs>